a new mode of transportation that can transport people really, really fast, much faster than a normal commercial airplane, and it will be on the ground, or near the ground to be exact. In this video, we will be talking all about that new transportation mode called Hyperloop. Hyperloop is a new form of ground transport currently in development by some companies. Someone can say it looks much like a railway system, but it offers or will offer a much better experience for sure. So, the race to build the world's first Hyperloop is on. Fundamental questions are being asked. Cutting-edge engineering is being shown. Billions of dollars are being invested. Economic barriers are being pushed. And the greatest transportation leap for a generation at stake. Let us dive into the current state of this ongoing race. How Hyperloop Started with passengers sitting in pods that travel at airline speed through sealed tubes using electric propulsion and magnetic levitation, Hyperloop has been touted as the fastest way to cross the surface of the Earth, slashing journey times between major cities from several hours to a matter of minutes. Hyperloop is a concept developed by SpaceX and Tesla founder Elon Musk for ultra-fast intercity travel. This man surely has a futuristic brain throwing one after another sci-fi concepts, and he works hard to make it in reality, too. Using travel pods inside metallic tubes, he calls it a fifth mode of transport in addition to cars, planes, boats, and trains. Elon first publicly mentioned Hyperloop in 2012. Then it was presented as a concept by the current richest man on the Earth in August 2013 as a series of low-pressure tubes hundreds of miles long, in which there will be levitating capsules carrying passengers back and forth inside. Musk's initial design was to build a 400-mile-long hyperloop between San Francisco and Los Angeles, which will transport commuters in just 35 minutes. The thing that shows Elon Musk is serious about taking us to the future is he deliberately decided to make his idea open-sourced, meaning anyone can develop this sci-fi-looking transportation system. Put it simply, he invited companies around the world to develop the technology. Since then, billionaires, engineers, and governments have competed to open the first operational system. Hyperloop Companies and Their Projects While most people were skeptical of the practical or economic feasibility of Musk's Hyperloop, two companies got to work on trying to create it right away alongside Elon Musk himself. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies and Virgin Hyperloop One are on the top among all of them. Virgin Hyperloop One This is one of the companies that has come nearest to present the world with their first ever commercial Hyperloop. Headed up by CEO Jay Walder, Virgin Hyperloop One is one of the largest companies working on a Hyperloop project. This startup was founded by serial investor Shervin Pishavar in 2014 with space engineers Josh Geigel from Virgin Galactic and Brogan Bam Brogan from SpaceX. Virgin's founder, Sir Richard Branson, joined the Los Angeles-based firm's board as part of the deal, and it has been rebranded as Virgin Hyperloop One. Sir Richard Branson chaired the startup from December 2017 through October 2018, then reigned over to the current chair CEO Jay Walder. Virgin Hyperloop raised $172 million in new funding in 2019, $90 million of which came from Dubai port operator DP World. According to Virgin Hyperloop's VP of Marketing, Ryan Kelly, Hyperloop One is expected to be fully operational by 2030, with certification in the next few years. And on top of that, recently Virgin Hyperloop announced that for the first time it has conducted a test of its ultra-fast transportation system with human passengers. The CTO and co-founder Josh Geigel was among the first ones to experience this fifth mode of transportation. The pod took 15 seconds to travel down Virgin's DevLoop 500-meter test track in the desert outside Las Vegas, Nevada, where the company has previously run more than 400 tests without passengers. I believe Virgin Hyperloop One could have the same impact upon India in the 21st century as trains did in the 20th century, said Sir Richard Branson. Projects India The government of Maharashtra has deemed Hyperloop a public infrastructure project and approved the Virgin Hyperloop as the original project proponent, OPP. This is a landmark announcement for building the Pune-Mumbai Hyperloop transportation system recognizing Hyperloop technology alongside other more traditional forms of mass transit. Virgin Hyperloop One promises to bring that travel time 
to get across the 160 kilometers from Mumbai to Pune to just 25 minutes within the next 10 years. Saudi Arabia Vying with India to open the first system, Saudi Arabia is also in advanced talks with Virgin Hyperloop One, with the company preparing to build a manufacturing plant and 35-kilometer test track north of Jeddah. Under the initiative, Riyadh would become a transportation hub, connecting such cities as Jeddah and the UAE capital Abu Dhabi. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies Hyperloop Transport Technologies HTT, was the first company to start development, with work commencing in 2013. It quickly amassed a workforce of 400 within its first two years, and now has a current workforce of more than 800 engineers and professionals located around the world. It wants to build a transport system built on a passive magnetic levitation system and says its 30-meter capsules will be able to carry 28 to 40 passengers and travel at a maximum speed of 1,223 kilometers per hour, moving 164,000 passengers a day on one line at full efficiency. Hyperloop TT developed the world's first and only full-scale Hyperloop test track, Hyperloop insurance framework, and safety and certification guidelines in pursuit of the first transportation breakthrough in a century. Projects The USA In 2018, Hyperloop TT signed a public-private partnership agreement with the Northeast Ohio Area-Wide Coordinating Agency NOACA, to study a Great Lakes Hyperloop corridor. This Great Lakes project will connect Chicago to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with touching some states like Indiana, Cleveland, and Ohio in between. At an average speed of 600 miles per hour, a trip from Chicago to Pittsburgh would take about 45 minutes in the Hyperloop TT, the company estimates. So far in the US, the Great Lakes project seems closest to reality as the company has completed the feasibility study and will soon conduct an environmental review for the project that, if all goes well, could be completed in about 15 years. Ukraine Ukraine is yet another country hopping on the Hyperloop train to the future. The country's infrastructure ministry signed an agreement with US-based Hyperloop Transportation Technologies to begin building a commercial Hyperloop system. It is a part of the nation's National Transport Strategy of Ukraine 2030 initiative. The first phase will consist of a 10-kilometer track that will be used to create the required legal framework to certify the system. China the Chinese state of Guizhou will house the country's first Hyperloop system after an agreement was made between the city of Tongren and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies. In Tongren, a 10-kilometer stretch will be built and, if successful, could lead to a lucrative wider rollout. This has been seen as a significant win for Hyperloop TT. According to Dirk Alborn, CEO of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the plan is to make a commercial line in the region that welcomes tourists. The Boring Company As Hyperloop is the brainchild of Elon Musk, he started this company as a subsidiary of SpaceX, which is developing infrastructure for transport. Though it is not doing that much like the previous ones to date, the company is working on five projects, only one to have passed an environmental review, permitting its use as a test track. In 2020, the company completely digging a second tunnel underneath the Las Vegas Convention Center ending the first phase of the $52.5 million project called the Convention Center Loop. Admire Elon Musk? Then tap on the videos on top of your screen to learn about some current endeavors of this Mars lover. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.